Hello everyone, Steve here, and I'm going to talk to you about like the history of what type of fields I like to study ever since kindergarten or pre-K, back in like the early 2000s. Now right now I'm kind of a STEM guy. I really like the sciences, excluding psychology. I really like engineering, as of like a few years ago when I discovered there's an engineering path in college. And I really like math. <laughs> and... I think these parts of science are so cool. Humanities, not so cool most of the time. I mean, the social studies part of it that you learn in, in elementary, middle school, but not so much high school or higher. Social sciences, okay. Still, still fascinating. But English language arts, I don't like that at all. I hate it. I hate learning to read and write. I like spelling, grammar. I like that part of it. I like it. Word study. I just don't like reading and writing. Which is sad, because that's an important thing to do. <laughs> anyway, we're here at Mineola, <laughs> waiting for the train to Hicksville. Okay, let's just... Okay. Anyway, when I was in kindergarten, all I really liked was math, because there's not much science or social studies taught. <laughs> the only things we learn in social studies are geography, the only sciences we learn are very basic and just start off. Mm -hmm. You don't learn much other than that. Mm -hmm. English I really hated, but math I, was so, I, was, I really did well because I loved it. I was able to do order of operations, PEMDAS in kindergarten, when, when I was just a, a just addition with six or more, with, with up to six single digit numbers that equal up to 50 is what I did in kindergarten. Adding up to six single digit numbers that would add up to 50 or less. Mm -hmm. I was top, I was, at, I, was the, I was the smartest student in my classroom, even though my English skills weren't that good. And, it was, and the classroom also had first graders in it, so it wasn't just kindergarten. Because the EWS school is like, it's, I told you about that two, two worlds in one school, kindergarten and first grade. Special ed classrooms have both. Once I got to, it's been the same, same deal until I got to middle school and fourth grade. When I was in fifth grade, my second year of middle school, mm -hmm. toward the end of that year, I started to get into science a lot. In fourth and fifth grade, it was more like social studies I liked better than science, which is odd because I liked math more than reading. But social studies isn't explicit like it is in high school, and it gets too scary when you're learning things that are too scary. When I was in middle school, I really liked science after, after the first year of fifth grade. It was really fun. And then it all changed in high school, where it wasn't just social studies, and si it was not social studies and science I was like, it was just science I liked. Just math and science because the liter literature part of social studies comes in high school when you're s studying scary stuff that really shouldn't be taught in schools. You know how Ron DeSantis bans books that are based, that have African American traits to them? I think that books shouldn't be banned, but books that are scary and can can be uncomfortable to read for some students they shouldn't be forced to be read people should have people shouldn't be forced to read certain books in school they should have their own reading log and should choose which books they read and they should read good reads in class not not the stuff that's like conglomerate standards that's just dumb mm -hmm. why not do good reads instead of books like to Kill a Mockingbird, and that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. Of Mice and Men, Romeo and Juliet, why not do Goodreads? Or at least let the student choose which books they get assigned. They choose book from the library. Mm -hmm. That's what I did in sixth grade, when I was in Pleasantville Middle School. Oh wait, no. Pine Lawn Middle School. Forget. It really is Pleasantville Middle School. Mm -hmm. I chose which assignments to read for homework. 
is much nicer than when it was in high school. Is that? <laughs> anyway, high school, I really liked the sciences, but I was struggling in math once I got to later high school because I had to, during my senior year, I had to take, if I wanted to continue in math, go further for additional credit, I needed to skip Algebra 2 trig and go for pre-calculus from geometry, as I've said before. And that was, it was both fun because it was math I was learning, but it wasn't fun because of the teacher and also who don't know my stuff. I also feel kind of cheated for being put into Algebra 1A and 1B, 9th and 10th grade, and not even knowing that there could have been a one-year Algebra option that was much more efficient. Mm -hmm. Same thing with biology, but living environment one and two. Don't know why they call it living environment in New York State. <laughs> but yeah, they they called it that. And they separated it. Okay, is that the Hicksville train or the Grand Central train? Okay, no, it's the one going to Grand Central. Mm -hmm. It always gets a track change. Anyway, now that I'm in college, I really like the sciences, but I don't get to study it that much because my school doesn't teach very many of them. In fact, course, course offerings are not, are like the farthest from abundance in any school at SLC, Successful Learning Center. It's just, I have to like learn on YouTube. I spent freshman year of college not SLC, not SLC's freshman year, but the WCSS freshman year with a tutor from WCC. Took, took WCC classes off campus, off off the school. And then sophomore year, I had to stick to YouTube because, because I just haven't found any teachers for teaching calculus and physics, the stuff I wanna learn. And early on in, in middle school, in middle school, I basically liked chemistry better than physics, and now I've switched over to physics, and chemistry is still in my heart, but I've noticed that in college it gets to be very boring, unlike the high school chemistry, or freshman year chemistry of college. It gets to be very weird, the way chemistry is taught in college, so I'm into physics now. It's just, why, why is everything so organic in college, chemistry? Why are you learning about, like, polymers and not so much about, like, matter? <laughs> anyway, I recently discovered engineering and wanted to start learning that in addition to physics and math. So I'm gonna be, so I'm gonna be a major plus minor plus minor plus minor plus minor thing. And I'm still a sophomore in my school because I haven't done enough work to get become a junior on YouTube. So I'm really thankful for Zach Star, I'm really thankful for Three Blue One Brown. And also free code camps help me calculus too. I have a friend who's really struggling with calculus too and might drop out, but I can't mention any further details. And he goes to basically the Ivy League of Science and Engineering. Yeah. It's a. Uh, calculus 2 is really hard. It's hard for me, but I made it through in on the free code camp, which is taught by an accredited professor. It's almost like a real thing in college. Doing it there, you just don't get graded. Mm -hmm. or his organic chemistry tutor I did with Calculus 1 and 3, and it was just much easier, both of them. Three blue, one brown, differential equations, and linear algebra. At least that's ab about what I'm gonna say. I really like STEM. I really don't like English language arts. That's it. Mm -hmm.